It's Sunday morning and the last day of my trip home to the country I grew up in. My flight home is not until about 6 p.m., so I've got the day to explore Edinburgh. I've never ridden the trams before, so I grab myself an all-day ticket for the city area and go exploring. I've also never climbed Arthur's Seat before, and since it's such a beautiful, cold, wet, windy day, it could be worse times to try it. Here's a fun and not very practical money saving tip. An all day ticket for the trams is £5 if you just do the city zone, but it's £12 if you want to go to the airport. Ingolston Park Ride is only about a 15 20 minute walk from the terminal and is included in the city zone. So if you're done like me, it's an easy way to save £7 and get yourself a little bit more exercise. to the airport. Yay! I get to go home now. Well, it is Sunday evening and my trip is basically done. I'm sorry that I didn't share much of what I did in Edinburgh. I ended up meeting up with a friend and going to a couple of shows with him and I was just enjoying that too much to think about spending time with you guys. But it's time to go home. So this evening we're flying from Edinburgh to Stockholm in Sweden, where I do have to spend the night, but I've got somewhere kind of cool to stay. And then tomorrow morning, we fly back into Copenhagen for a quick layover, and then back on that flight to Atlanta, and then home. So, long journey home, but it's been an amazing trip so far. I really wish I'd been able to take more time off work. All checked in. Always a complicated one. British citizen, US permanent resident, overnight 
layover in Stockholm. Cool beans. But we made it. We are checked in. Let's head to security and start our way going home. Uh, security only took about 15 minutes. That's not bad considering that halfway through they closed a couple of the lines and we were all forced to go through one. But hey, we made it. Now to walk through duty free. think of myself as one of those travelers that's never going to fall for duty free but um, they got me this time he's so awesome my wife is going to go mad <laughs> Pretty much on time. Uh, got about 20 minutes until we're supposed to take off and we're almost loaded, so that's pretty cool. It's about two hours over to Stockholm. Should hopefully be a pretty smooth flight, but it's gonna be mostly dark, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film. Land at about midnight or so, and then just a quick bus to our hotel at the airport. It's one o'clock in the morning and I'm basically in the middle of nowhere. I need to go find my hotel. Ooh. I don't know if it is possible for you to really understand the joy that I'm feeling right now, but my hotel is a plane. dark at the moment to give you a proper tour we'll do that in the morning but I am so excited look at that it's the nose of a 747 for breakfast I am so damn excited so good morning from Sweden for how tight and claustrophobic this room is, I did sleep really, really well. This bed is actually surprisingly comfortable. Only problem with it is that they only provide one very teeny tiny flat little pillow. So if I had one complaint, it would be that. 
But otherwise, I mean, you know what you're getting into. This room is the size of an engine compartment. There is no bathroom. You have to walk into the main building to get the bathroom or a shower. But, hey, this was 80 US dollars, and it makes me so happy. Today we are flying from Stockholm to Copenhagen, where we have like about an hour layover, and then our direct flight back to Atlanta. Everything looks like it's going to be on time so far, so it should be hopefully a pretty smooth day. But yeah, definitely sad to be leaving. I uh, staying at the jumbo stay last night was awesome. That cost about 80 US dollars, I think 800 kroner when I booked it. Booking process was a little confusing. Like I booked it through their website, I didn't receive an email confirmation automatically I emailed them asking for an email confirmation nothing I messaged them on Facebook nothing emailed them again finally got my email confirmation and then I was a little worried that I wouldn't get information about how to check in because I knew they wouldn't be staffed when I arrived at 1 a.m. but yep yeah, Sunday morning got an email from them gave me the door code gave me the code to the after hours pickup box and everything worked out real smooth it did offer breakfast. I didn't try it. It didn't look particularly appetizing. But I will say, you know, it, you got to go in with low expectations. It's a hostel. It's not a five-star hotel like I stayed in the night before in Edinburgh. But it's so cool because you get to sleep in a plane. <laughs>
Oh, good. Passport control took forever. So now I'm running through the airport. It's seated in SAS business. about two months since I got back from this trip and as I'm getting close to finishing the editing on the final video about the trip I thought it might be a good time to talk about the trip and how I feel about it. Unfortunately I wasn't able to film a conclusion at the time as running through Copenhagen airport I lost my microphone, fell off my shirt, never saw it again. Yay! So I'm taking Marvel out for a walk. Unfortunately there's a lot of squirrels and she is very easily distracted. So this trip came about because several months ago when sitting at work, I got a Facebook message from my high school best friend, Paul, saying that he was getting married and could I come? And honestly, I didn't think that I would be able to come. It's such a long way and it's so expensive, especially if I was gonna to have to bring my wife with me. And that's such an awkward conversation to be like, yo, wife, can I go to Scotland, the country that you love without you? But, she was spying on me. She was playing games on my laptop and got a notification from Facebook that, about the conversation. And she texted me and said, hey, you can go without me. She's awesome. But anyway, I then had to look at flights because flights in the summer to Scotland from America have gotten ridiculously expensive since COVID. And most airlines want about 1500 $2,000 for a return trip. But then I was lucky, because Scandinavian Airline Systems had just decided to leave Star Alliance and join Sky Team, and as part of that, they were introducing flights to Atlanta. But they weren't in Sky Team yet, and so they needed to get some business, and so they had ridiculously low flares. My basic flight was around $700 return. And, I mean, you saw the footage. It was fine. Premium economy was actually really nice. I would definitely fly them again. Of course, the main reason that this trip was even possibly affordable is I work for a Hilton franchise here in the US and got access to team member rates. Hospitality is a hard job, it really is, but the rewards are absolutely worth it. If you're interested in a career in hospitality, shoot me a message, leave a comment, I'd love to talk it over with you. It was so nice being back in Scotland. I moved to the US in 2012, and this was only my second time going home since then. And I forgot how much I actually quite liked living there. So definitely need to find a way to make it happen again sooner than another six years. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I made these videos not for any sort of YouTube success or celebrity, but just because I wanted to see if I had the skills to make something like Steve Marsh or any of those other guys that are do awesome jobs. And I like to think I did something that's reasonably close, at least a facsimile of what they achieve every single week, which I have no idea how they manage that since it's taken me two months to edit just three videos. But if you have any suggestions on the editing or the footage or the choice of shots or anything about these videos i would love to hear it put it in the comments i'm not going to get offended or hurt i really do want to be able to do a good job but again thank you for joining me i have no idea if i'll film another one of these but if you enjoyed it like and subscribe hit that bell look at me i'm a professional bye